the image beneath the layer and we have used track mat option luma inverted map and uh, we have uh, this uh, nice uh, revealing transition with us hi today in this video we will see how to make an image reveal effect through a ink blot or a paint drop splatter and transition between the images with the same effect this is dhruv and welcome to my channel so i have taken this uh, composition in a full hd format and uh, now i'm going to import the image as well as the mat uh, in the composition i'm going to import this image as well as uh, this ink drop in my composition so now you can see i have this video of uh, this ink splatter it's a matte uh, it's in a matte format like you can see it's in a black and white format so i'm going to match the pixels with the comp size so i have scaled it so what we'll do is uh, now you can see the it's starting of the video it's showing like this and it goes up till this so what i'll do is it's very simple and a very easy effect and very a nice effect uh, this is my image of a smiling girl so now what i'll do is i'll just place this image beneath this layer and uh, i'll just simply use this track mat option available in after effects this is a track mat option uh, you have to you know uh, you can uh, do one or uh, take one or two uh, options how to select the uh, track mat option in which uh, it's suitable for you and uh, here we'll take this luma inverted mat so now this image is in a larger size i'll just scale it down i'll just scale it down and adjust it according to the ink plot so this is it and uh, now you can see the effect is coming like this that's the effect that we need so you can see this is the uh, it's a very easy uh, option of a track mat like uh, we have done this we have uh, the image beneath the layer and we have used track mat option luma inverted map and uh, we have uh, this uh, nice uh, revealing transition with us so uh, to play with this more what we, what we can do is so this is my first uh, effect as you can see and uh, now what i'll do is i'll just convert this into a pre comp that would be my pre comp one as far as the image one and uh, for right now i'll just delete this from my main comp and i'll import some of the more images this is another video of an ink plot same way i've done it before i'll just scale it up till my comp size we can do it more because you see this is the revealing area so uh, you need to adjust it according to that if you want to scale it more you can do that and if you want to reveal it this way then you can do that so this is my i scale it up and this is my second image i'll just place this image between beneath this layer and i'll apply this luma inverted map so this is it uh, you see this butterfly is getting revealed in this i'll just scale it down to get it perfectly into that uh, revealing size now this animation is a bit slow animation uh, so what i'll do is i'll just uh, increase the speed of this animation so for this ink blot what i'll do is i'll just uh, go to time and time stretch and i'll reduce it to 50% so this is it now uh, it's now it's revealing at a faster rate fine and i'll again make it as a pre comp that would be my pre comp 2 and i'll just delete this from my main layer and i'll again import some of the more one more image and again one ink splatter this is my image and i'll use the same ink splatter again so that i'm already having it in my comp this is my image and this is my ink splatter and again increase the size of this and we'll just make it a more towards center i'll align it towards the center of the screen right fine and again i'll just use this luma inverted map and right now the image is in a very bigger size so i need to scale it down so friends you can see this is like a, a nice image reveal a cool you know image reveal effect 
and for this also we can reduce the time because this is also a bit on a slower side so 50% for this also so now i'll just convert this also into an pre-comp layer that's my pre-comp 3 now in my main layer this is my main layer that's comp 1 what i'll do is to make the transition between all these three images i just place them in my comp that's my pre-com 1 and that's my pre-com 2 and this is my pre-com 3 i need to adjust the size of pre-com 1 also i'm uh, sorry the timing of pre-com 1 so also i did 50 percent now it's revealing at a much much faster rate so when this image get gets revealed and it's getting over by this time so what i'll do is i'll just break the split this layer into two half and i'll just leave the x excess part now this is my first layer and uh, this is my second image reveal so you can see we can overlap these images and you can see it's such a beautiful effect coming there so it's a very cool and a very nice effect you can use this uh, you know in transition of uh, any images or any footage that you want to between them so you can use these transitions between uh, any footage you like so uh, like now you can see that there's a black uh, you know there's a black uh, mat coming there so what we can do is i'll just use one solid layer and i'll just uh, a white color would do and i'll just place it beneath all the layers so now what is my white background is getting revealed now this is my white background and it's looking much neater and much cleaner so this is the perfect uh, way of revealing uh, images through uh, mat this we can have with the ink blots you can use it with those uh, paint uh, drop splatter see and to give it a more effect what we can do is uh, we can animate uh, or we can scale down these images a bit that we are getting to reveal so in pre-comp 1 i'll just go into this pre-comp 1 and this is my animation this image of the girl i'll just scale it down a bit i'll just scale it up to 36 percent and just put a, a keyframe here at the starting of the animation and after coming to this point i'll just scale it down a bit just a little bit it will give you a subtle motion sort of a thing so now you can see the image behind the reveal it's also getting scaled down so it's giving you a very subtle and a nice motion sort of an effect so same way we'll do is with this uh, pre-com 2 also this butterfly effect i'll just uh, scale down the butterfly so initially i'll just keep it around 54 percent and i'll just mark a keyframe here and when this animation is about to finish, I'll just scale it down a bit. And same goes for the PCOM 3. Just mark a keyframe. And now I just reduce the size of this image. Now you can see these edges because the image was in a small, smaller size. So these edges are coming. So to rectify it, what I'll do is I'll just increase the scale of this. I can keep it around this at this position and initially what I'll do is the starting just scale it up so you can see this it's a nice motion coming there so now you can see that this uh, image when it's getting revealed this the first image is you know getting out very sharply so what I'll do is I'll just uh, mark a dissolve here when this image is getting revealed the first image I'll just mark a dissolve here this is 100% opacity and here I'll just bring it down to zero so now you can see it's a nice dissolve kind of a thing we have put a dissolve to adjust that you know sharp cut between those two images so now we have this effect are almost ready now Another way of doing this is uh, you have to adjust the position as well as the scaling to avoid these edges. So another method to do is uh, this is a very also so you can do in this way also like uh, you can put a mask over it. So if I use this mask over this image and I'll just use some feather. 
so that will also serve the purpose yes so now the edges are you know they are feathered now so this way also you can you know hide those edges those annoying edges that are coming on the screen so since the image is of a smaller size if your image is in a, of a large size then that's then there's no problem but if the image is of the small size then this will occur on the screen so this is more neat effect now it has come out very neatly since we have used the feathered mask over it so friends you saw this nice animation this nice transition reveal of uh, like of these images you can use it with any of your images or any of your video or any of your footage that you like you can place that footage instead of this image and that will also reveal it like this so uh, uh, this is a very cool and very easy i think it's a very nice uh, sort of transition that you can make to any of your images or video so if you like this video uh, you can uh, please put the thumbs up and uh, for any if you have any doubts you can comment on the box and i'll be happy to answer them and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much